hello guys and welcome back so if you just bought yourself a new samsung galaxy a23 and you really want to make the most out of this device then you clicked on the right video in this video i'll show you some amazing tips tricks and features for your samsung galaxy a23 anyways drop a like on this video and without wasting much of your time here let's get started if you like to get quick access to your favorite apps then you definitely love this open settings and scroll down to advanced features now select side key by default this settings is already enabled and when you press on your power button two times it will launch the camera now you can change this default settings and assign it to open any of your favorite apps on your device now select open app and tap on the gear icon next to it all apps on your device will show here now you can scroll through and select your favorite app you like to have quick access to using the side key tap on it and your settings will be applied you can now have quick access to the app just by doing this. So this Samsung Galaxy A23 here comes with a side mounted fingerprint sensor which is also the power button. When you compare this device to the old A series phones with the same unlocking method, you can see there are some improvements made here but there is still some slight delay when unlocking the device. So to fix this, open settings, then head over to biometrics and security. Now tap on fingerprint and make sure you register your fingerprint well so you can delete the previous one and re-register your fingerprint again but make sure you do it well this time so after you are done registering your fingerprint enable fingerprint always on so once you have this enabled it will help you have quick access to your device even without you turning on the screen first and it makes it feel much faster and better so there's this new feature in One UI 4.1 that allows you as a user to add more RAM to your device if you need more RAM. To do this, open settings, then you scroll down and tap on device and battery care. Now select memory and yeah, wait for it to finish checking. Tap on RAM plus. Now over here, you can select the amount of virtual RAM you'd like to add to your existing RAM from 2 to 4 gig. On other Galaxy devices, there might be higher options to select, so that's something you need to take note of. Once you are done selecting the amount of storage you like to add to your existing RAM, hit reset and this will apply the settings to your device. Previously, if you had 4 gigs of internal RAM, adding the new virtual RAM to the existing RAM, you should have 6 gigs or 8 gig of internal RAM, depending on the one you selected. Next, with this feature turned on, you are getting a more smoother scrolling and animation on the device. This means you are changing from the standard 60Hz refresh rate to a higher refresh rate. To enable this feature to get a smooth animation and scrolling on the A23, open settings. Then scroll down and tap on display. Select motion smoothness. Now tap on adaptive. This will give you better and smooth animation, better scrolling as compared to the standard refresh rate. Now on One UI 4.1 or even One UI 3.1, you can read any notification you mistakenly swiped away or got deleted. To do this, open settings then you scroll down and tap on notifications. Tap on advanced settings, now notification history. So over here, you make sure you enable this. Once you have this enabled, all incoming notifications will be saved here, so if you mistakenly away any notification or someone even sent you a whatsapp message and later on deleted it you'll be able to read all those messages when you come here all you need to do is you head over to settings then notification history and you should find everything here next scroll down to open your quick settings then you tap on the three dots here and click on edit so now look for this toggle called extra dim and add it to your quick settings so after adding this to your quick settings, tap on it to turn on and this will dim your device screen brightness beyond the minimum brightness level like this. So when you turn it back off, it will restore the brightness level. So this can be very useful for some of you if you don't want much light from your device screen at night, especially if you are in bed or you find yourself in a dark place. You can also enable a shortcut as well if you don't want to always scroll down to have access to this feature. Just tap on the extra dim shortcut switch here to activate it. Once you have this turned on, you see a green icon here and when you tap on it, it will activate the extra dim shortcut and also if you want to turn it off, you just repeat the same process. Since battery life is important, you can 
Now extend the lifespan of your battery using the protect battery feature on the Samsung Galaxy A23 or any Samsung Galaxy device running One UI 4.1. So if you don't want to be changing your battery anytime soon, then you need to do this. Open settings, then you scroll down to battery and device care. Tap on battery. Scroll down and click on more battery settings. Over here you should see protect battery. Then you tap on the switch here to enable it. And this will help you extend the lifespan of your battery as it says here and it will also limit the maximum charge up to 85% only preventing the battery from getting overcharged. Anyways, these are some features you can enable on the Samsung Galaxy A23 or other Galaxy devices running One UI 4.1 to get the best out of it. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like on it, also leave a comment, subscribe and also I will soon be posting a full review on the Samsung Galaxy A23. Share and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe.